BWX, an opportunity for several young athletes to intersect and interject themselves within the bounds of Tag Team Championship Wrestling. Matt Cree, Tom Heisman, one of the most successful tag teams of this entire last decade, are back together. And point of view, getting their opportunity of a lifetime to prove themselves, and wouldn't it be a shocker if Point of view could eliminate Youth Gone Wild in this semi-final tag team clash in the number one contendership situation to crown the first PWX tag team champions since the rebirth of PWX last year. And this AJ Raditz has great tumbling skill as he's able to somersault and cartwheel himself out of just about any and all predicaments. AJ Raditz, very extreme, a high-flying athlete. Great tumbling skill. He can drop kick, he can fly, he can run. He's got great balance. But he does take a lot of risks in the ring, and if one of those risks does not pay off, it could be bad news for himself and his partner. New matchup, Tom Heisman against Raditz right now. Jake Sheldon looking on from point of view. Very intriguing tag team competition. The winner of this tag team match will move on to face two a T to determine who will be the number one contenders for a PWX tag team title match. Tom Eisman sending AJ Raditz for the ride. But what a spinning head scissors takeover. Very impressive by this young man. He's got hops, he's got speed, but does he have the intangibles of lasting through as many as two matches under this extreme heat and sunlight right here today. Jake Sheldon out of the MMA world into a pro wrestling ring using his tag team partner as a weapon flipping him over and that was a very impressive backflip press right onto Tom Heisman's chest and sternum and Heisman slow to get up. Jake Sheldon is very, very impressive in the ring. He has shown that before. This guy is a brawler, a scrapper, and when he hits you, he is trying to make impact with the target, trying to go for knockout shots, high impact slams and presses. And you cannot count out Jake Sheldon for one minute. And Matt Creed saw that his partner was in trouble and had to interject and break up the count. But if Matt Creed does that again, he could be warned, and that could be cause for a disqualification. And a disqualification for Youth Gone Wild is not at all one of the things that they want to try to accomplish. That is not their goal today. Their goal is to win outright and prove that they're one of the best tag teams in PWX. And that they're worthy of being number one contenders for the PWX tag team titles. Tom Eisman. Matt Creed. For years, they flew around the ring. They worked together in tandem. They won tag team titles elsewhere. They are one of the favorites going in to the tag team division and the tag team tournament here tonight. But it isn't going to be a walk in the park. There are a lot of good challengers, but look at that great double team offense. Beautiful double team pickup out of the hip lock and then the double team neck breaker. Youth Gone Wild looks like they're confident, they've been communicating, they've been waiting for this opportunity, and now everything is in the right place at the right time for Youth Gone Wild to show exactly what they're made of. And we're anticipating that Youth Gone Wild is going to take this tag team and make it successful in the reboot and also take this all over the Midwest and throughout the United States. Nice counter by Jake Sheldon, though. The kneecap did make connection with the jaws. Both men take a tumble to the outside, and Matt Creed fell backwards over the top rope to the outside. And down goes Tom Heisman as well. Both of them falling onto the grass plane below. And check this out. Sheldon and Raditz might take flight here at PWX. And we're going to see some dangerous risk taking. Watch this. Oh, my. Over the top rope with a corkscrew body attack. Sheldon hit his intended targets. He took down both members of Youth Gone Wild. And Raditz is an extreme high flyer. And this guy, when he takes flight, it's something special. Oh my! Toby Cornell over the top, nailing all of his targets on the outside. Point of view. Putting down everybody 
And when all the bodies start flying and connecting, you have no way to protect yourself. Flipping from the outside to the inside of the ring with the senton backsplash. But Tom Heisman clamped his right hand on the bottom rope to force the rope break, barely giving some extra time to Youth Gone Wild in this struggle. And you might notice Creed is a significant distance away from the ring as he's trying to return back to his corner to help his partner. Crushing clothesline by Heisman. Puts down Raditz. And now both Raditz and Heisman are down. And this might be a situation where we have a race to see who can make the tag first and who can continue to, with the momentum. I thought that Point of View had an awesome opportunity to put, try to put Heisman away. But instead, they try to go individually instead of collectively as a team to try to finish the, the opposition, but it didn't quite work out that way in their favor. Get him out, Tom. Two on one is the objective. If you can work together in tandem on your opponent, you can beat them faster, and you have a higher probability of winning your match and moving on. You also don't want to absorb too much abuse because if you have to wrestle again, you have to save some energy for the potential of another tag team match in the loaded tag team number one contenders tournament today. Suplex attempt, one caught the other. Watch out. Oh, nice. Double team drop to Raditz. Creed, Heisman working together in tandem. And they have put Raditz down and he is not moving. And Jake Sheldon had to try to sneak into the ring and try to make the save. And I think that Youth Gone Wild are within a matter of seconds of putting Raditz down for the count and getting themselves to that next step within the tag team tournament. Their experience, their knowledge as a team, and the fact that both individually in several people's minds are at or just about near their physical peaks. This is their opportunity that they've been waiting for to prove that they're the number one tag team in this area and could take this show on the road and prove it against any other potential tag team opponents. The match has slowed down significantly since the flying body attacks, since the tags have been made, and Raditz takes a double team. Hip toss, fist drop, and over and over again, Youth Gone Wild taking their turns, trying to lay out Raditz, but Raditz won't go away. Just when you thought, that point of view, we're down and out. They continue to fight on for their existence in PWX's tag team tournament here today. Big pick up by Heisman, the power bomb, and he snapped him down so hard he might have put down Raditz so bad on the back of his head he might have a concussion, but look at that! He was able to rotate his body around just in time and keeps himself alive in this tag team situation. Jake Sheldon's had a lot of time to recover. If somehow, someway, AJ Raditz can find a way to get back into this match legally, he might give you, point of view another opportunity to re-enter this match. Well, boot, one boot makes a connection with Matt Creed's draw. Heisman missed in the corner. Back body dropped, one on top of the other. Youth Gone Wild has been pancaked. Raditz has got to make a tag. What is he waiting for? I think he wants to try to hit a flying body attack on both individuals as he's turned his back to both. What the heck was that? Flying tumbleweed in the air. And he landed on both of his targets in the middle of the ring. Very impressive. Raditz had that golden opportunity to make the tag to Jake Sheldon, decided against it, took flight instead, hurt himself, possibly as bad as his two other opponents. Come on, baby. Come on. And finally, Raditz has made the tag. Kid Sheldon, finish off. Youth going wild on his own. T two clotheslines at the same time. A double clothesline. Sheldon runs in. The forearm to Creed. Another one for Heisman. And Sheldon is running around and smashing and splashing everything in sight. Double noggin knocker. Heisman goes down. Creed out on his own feet. Can Sheldon and Raditz put down Matt Creed and score the huge upset? Double team pickup on the way. Nice double team suplex. 
Raditz is the legal man. Heisman too close. Youth gone wild still in this match. Flying forearm. Sheldon takes the fall off the ring apron all the way to the grass plane and the concrete below. And check this out. AJ Raditz is in a web of destruction and that falling drop right there has put Raditz out for the count. Sheldon can't get in and Youth Gone Wild have gone on. They will advance to the finals. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the winners advancing to the finals of the number one contenders tournament to eventually crown the PWX Tag Team Champions, Tom Heisman, Matt Crew, Youth Gone Wild! Point of view with an amazing effort. Not enough to put away the dominant tag team force. That is Youth Gone Wild, but a lot was taken out of these two, the favorites in the tag team division. This is the new